this is Tamara from mooglyblog.com and in this video I'm going to be demonstrating how to make the extended double crochet stitch, often abbreviated EXDC. I'll be using Lion Brand's Vanna's Choice and a Furls wooden hook. I believe this is a J. Now I recently published a pattern for the Super Speedy Preemie Hats where I use the extended double crochet and here you can see an example of what this stitch looks like in the round. Making it in the round and making it in rows is exactly the same, so I'll be demonstrating making it in rows for this video. Let's get started. Alright, here I have a chain, and the great thing about the extended double crochet is it doesn't require a particular number of stitches to make. Uh, so just chain as long as you like, and then chain two more and skip those uh, to get us up to the height of our stitch. We won't count those as a stitch, it's just kind of like the turning chain there. So those two will be the turning chain. So I'm going to make the extended double crochet. I'm going to go into the third chain from the hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, so far exactly like a standard double crochet, and then here's the extended part. I will yarn over, pull through just the first loop, like so, then finish it like a normal double crochet. Yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. One loop left on the hook means we've made our first extended double crochet. You can see it looks a lot like a regular double crochet, but basically it just has a chain there at the base. Let's do it again. Yarn over, go into the next stitch. Could be a chain, could be a stitch, whatever you like. Pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through the first loop. That's our little chain there at the bottom. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And that's two extended double crochets. To make a second row, it would be just like making a second row of double crochet. Chain two, turn, and work back across. Let's make one more of these, and then I'll show you how to decrease with this stitch. I'm going to yarn over, go in the stitch, indicated, could be the next stitch, could be anywhere the pattern tells you to go. We've got our three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through just the first one, still three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through the last two. Alright, now let's make the extended double crochet two together. So if you wanted to decrease with this stitch, I'm going to yarn over, go in the first indicated stitch, probably the next stitch, there we are, pull up a loop, three loops on the hook, Yarn over, pull through the first one, yarn over, pull through the first two, and then with two loops still on the hook, I'll yarn over again, go to the next stitch or wherever you're supposed to put the second leg of the decrease, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, and then because it's a decrease, we've got our two started stitches here, I'm going to yarn over and pull through all three so that it becomes one stitch. And that's an extended double crochet decrease. And that's really all there is to extended double crochet stitches. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you like the stitch. Let us know and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching.